All right, in this script, we're going to look at how to take a snippet of code and turn it into a full-on plugin, um, a saved file in the plugins menu, in the plugins folder. So here's our snippet. Is what it does is it erases faces, just like that. So one thing I want to do, let's look at this. Let's let's wrap it up in a method first. I'm going to call it main. Define main. So now all of this is within a, is within a method. And you'll notice this time when we click execute, nothing's going to happen because we're not actually calling the main method anywhere. So if we just type in main down here, now it's calling the main method and it's going to work. So that's how we need to wrap our code inside of a um, inside of a method here so we can use it easier. But let's copy this now. Um, once I get ready to turn a, a you know code into a plugin. I bring it into my notepad plus plus so I can work with it better. So now I have this method written here. Now what I need to do is wrap all of this into a module to keep it safe away from other scripts. If any other script that wasn't wrapped in its own module, for example, had a main method defined, then our scripts would conflict and one of us would have a problem. One of our scripts would break. So let's wrap this into a module. We're going to call it CLF tutorial and let's end it. So now everything is wrapped nicely into a module but once we put a method into a module we need to specify that it's inside of that module when we define the method just like this. So this is how we set it up so that our script is now safe from other scripts and we're not going to harm other scripts and nobody else can affect our script either. So to add this to the plugins menu now for example I'm going to copy in some code right here. So what this does, this is the plug menu. It's just a variable that points to ui.menu plugins. So it just points to the plugins menu. So now we, we can run plug menu dot add item and then erase faces. That's the name that we that I've chosen for this script. And what this method, the add item method does, is it lets you specify a block of code. And it's going to run anything that's within this block of code. So what I want it to run, I just want to point it back to my CLF tutorial.main method. So let's paste that right in there. So now as the user clicks on the erase faces item in the plugins menu, it's going to call our script here. So let's go ahead and save this now, I think. Okay, and let's close SketchUp and let's open up whoop, a new SketchUp here. And let's see. Okay, sure enough, Erase Faces has been loaded. So if I have something selected, I run Erase Faces, it goes ahead and erases all the faces. And so now we have, back here in Notepad, we have an entire working script that's wrapped safely inside of its own module and it calls it, it adds itself to the plugins menu and you could change plugins here you could change this and put it into any of the other existing sketchup menus if you didn't want it in plugins maybe you feel like it belongs in the tools menu or the draw menu so you can add it to any menu you'd like you can also, if you dig around in the UI class in the API, look at the other options in there because you can also add um, spacers. You can add like line dividers in, in the plugins menu. You can also add submenus, so you can have your own submenu. I'll show you an example of that. I add all of my scripts to the Chris Fulmer Tools submenu, so they're all in here, and even submenus can have submenus like this. So it's just a way to help organize scripts um, to keep them. Uh, put together and I choose to put them all under my own my name so they're easier to find so you can decide how you want to organize your scripts in the future but um, for now this is a good start where you can just have the plugins menu and put everything you'd like right inside the plugins menu so I hope this is helpful and please always remember to wrap your own scripts in modules to keep them safe and so that none of our scripts conflict and um, have fun